Now that we've gone over advanced search, we'll take a brief look at medical subject headings in PubMed. There's quite a few terms and bits of jargon around this, but I'll try to keep it simple. MESH or medical subject headings are a type of controlled vocabulary, basically special vocabulary for a database. So far, we've only been using keywords, which are also called natural language, and that's because they're just what we type into a Google search or use naturally when speaking to people. Both keywords and subject terms, aka controlled vocabulary, aka MeSH terms in PubMed. They're just called medical subject headings, MeSH terms for short in PubMed. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. It's good to know about MeSH because it can increase your precision by quite a bit. One thing that MeSH will do for you is group similar words or synonyms or terms together. Here's a little example. There are a lot of concepts that have many different names in medicine. For instance, you might say myocardial infarction or MI to a physician and heart attack when talking to a lay person. Nobody in real life really says infarction, comma, myocardial, but that's how databases index things sometimes. With MeSH, you can get all of these terms by searching under one term. There are actual people called indexers, work for the National Library of Medicine, and so these are like very fancy academic hashtags. These people go through all the articles in PubMed and assign them these terms. And then when you search for those terms in MeSH, you'll get articles that mention any of these terms, no matter what the author used. Let's take a quick look at how this works. So to get to MeSH, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the PubMed site and it's under this little gray bar here. And I like to open up a few tabs when I'm working with Mesh or maybe Windows if you're on a phone because it'll kick you back to advanced search every time, which can be a little bit annoying. So that's just a little tip if you're using this and why I'm opening multiple tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in carpal tunnel syndrome and it'll give you a definition of what that is. This is just precisely how it's defined within PubMed. And it'll cover all of these other terms. So if you're searching for carpal tunnel syndrome, it doesn't matter what the author called it. These terms or synonyms will be covered. And then this is just showing you the hierarchy of all of the terms within MeSH, this index. They call it a tree, but it's basically like a huge outline of all of these different index terms. So sometimes if you're struggling to find an article, you can get some ideas by looking at other terms on these little trees here. This is just saying carpal tunnel syndrome can fall under some different categories. But we won't worry about that. I'm just going to add to search builder and then you have to click twice, search PubMed. And then we go back to advanced search and this is why I opened the different tabs. And Mesh is picky about spelling. It'll try to help you if you just spell something wrong in PubMed, but just a heads up about that. This is a one weird thing that they do. For every specialty, they have a mesh heading for that. So physical therapy specialty is more about the actual field itself, but what physical therapists do for their patients is under physical therapy modalities. Let's click on it real quick. Subheadings are to narrow down your search some more, so they'll be these different aspects of whatever the main term is, I would say don't click on them right away because that can narrow down your search too much. You can always come back to Mesh and do a different search with these and then use it as a building block. There are the different entry terms and then you can go down here and see there are quite a few different types of physical therapy on our big tree or outline here. So I'll do the same thing there. And then finally, surgery. Same thing for surgery. We've got the field of general surgery. So that's more about the specialty. And surgical procedures, comma, operative is what the surgeons actually do themselves. And then there's what we've got there. And there's all kinds of surgery. But we're just going to do the basic one for now. If you did need to drill down to some kind of orthopedic surgery, or a, a type of procedure for carpal tunnel syndrome, you could try to do that. But we're just gonna do a simple one here. 
So I'm going to and my concepts together. And here we have a lot fewer results than we had with our advanced search. We had about 304. We had to narrow it down quite a bit. And we see that this systematic review, I will narrow it real quick. Yeah, if we narrow it down to systematic review now or meta-analysis, then we can get that, that article we found, comparison of the short-term and long-term effects, a lot faster than we got it when we were going through keyword searching. However, keywords are important because sometimes you have terms that aren't in mesh and you need to use the keywords for that. Also, because actual human beings put these terms into mesh, they have to read through the articles and assign all these terms, then you don't get ahead of print articles or in process articles, just things that are still in the system and haven't been indexed yet. So you might miss out on some newer articles if you only search with the mesh heading. So that's the reason not to use them exclusively and why we say try a mix of keywords and mesh terms if you're looking for something. And if we click on this article or any article with mesh headings, we can scroll down or just use this little side menu and see if there's any mesh terms here that this article has that we haven't used before. They do have treatment outcome for this one. And so we might, you know, thinking back, try that with a different search if we hadn't found what we were looking for. But again, sometimes this is just too broad, but that is a mesh term as well. So that's a quick overview of mesh. We're just gonna do a little practice with your practice search and then move on to clinical queries.